by kicking the channel off with a new series. This is me traveling Europe and the UK. I did put a video up on my channel two years ago promising you guys that I would start uploading to the channel again, which I didn't do, um, usually because work got in the way. I probably took a long, a big project on, just threw me off target. Uh, but I got this new camera now. I was using a Sony A7 at the time, and it was just so over and cumbersome that uh, it was purring me off. I know some vloggers like uh, Simon Wilson use like big cannons and stuff. Casey Neistat used the big cannon at the beginning. But yeah, I got this cool little DJI action camera. The battery lasts forever in it. I could do slow mo 4K on it as well, which is cool. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna kick start the channel. I was in Rome last week, so the Rome videos will be coming up in the next few weeks. I'm starting this channel off fresh with um, me going to Switzerland, and that's where I'm going right now. I'm currently just leaving Newport in South Wales. So we're gonna be heading to Switzerland. It takes about an hour and a half. Um, hour and a half or to just under two hours on the plane and currently heading towards Bristol Airport now on the uh, the mega bus from Newport South Wales so this is going to be fun um, so this sort of vlogging format is going to go on my Juicy Pixel channel that's what you're seeing this right now I do have another channel which I've started called Taff Trails that's going to have more documentary style footage a bit more high quality editing this is going to be hack and slash sort of job so I'm not going to do too much editing on these videos, I'm just going to record myself as I go places, share my experience with you guys, and uh, just put, just not worry about editing too much, it takes you so quick to like, put your videos in a timeline and just, and just trim them until they, until, yeah, just trim them up nice, so it doesn't take any effort at all to do that, so why not just put these videos on the Juicy Pixel channel, I'm always travelling, god, I, I must be... I mean, I've just been I've just been back from Rome for like two days, back to Switzerland now. Who knows what could happen. Um, I do plan on going back to Liverpool like within the next 10 days or so. But uh, let's see what we could do between now and then. Switzerland is Europe's most expensive country. So that's gonna be a big contrast from Rome last week. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. So we're going past, um, Gold Cliff over there, which is uh, which is the coastline which leads from Newport towards the Bristol Channel, along the Bristol Channel. So yeah, we're headed into Bristol today. Uh, there's about a 25 minute wait to the next bus to Bristol Airport. My flight is now until 1.30, so we've got ample time. So come along with me as we explore Switzerland. Switzerland is actually warmer than um, Wales right now, so twice the temperature as well. It's currently four degrees here in Newport. Switzerland is about 11 at the moment. It should warm up. It should be a bit warmer when I land there, and then I have to get the train to the airport. But um, I'll share that with you once we land. You know, it's also bonkers. I'm the only person on this coach to Bristol. See the Bristol Channel just out here now. And the Seven Bridge just in the distance. We'll just be going over that shortly.
So I just got off in uh, Geneva now and it's fucking mad. But it's awesome. <clears throat> it's like a cross between like France and Germany. It's really fucking interesting. The, the main language spoken in uh, Geneva is uh, French though. But yeah, it's mad. So I need to acclimatize a little bit. Mad people. So I thought tonight was going to be smooth. So the conductor from Geneva put me on the wrong train and I ended up going towards Zurich when I was going to Corpette. But luckily enough, I've got off the train early enough to find one back. But this train station is fucking beautiful. Like stunning. It's full of French post-war architecture. Probably done before in the 1930s. But this place is incredible. <sighs> I'm out of breath because there was a couple on the train trying to help me get the correct train back. But luckily enough for me, my hotel has left my keys on the desk. <laughs> so I go back to the hotel whenever I want to. But this place is incredible. Look at it. Look at the architecture and the mosaics. Whew, I'm out of breath. But this is definitely post-World War I. It's absolutely beautiful beautiful station so what I'm gonna do because I'm I'm about 30 minutes away from my hotel so it's no it's no beef I could, I could find it eventually but yeah look at this place beautiful 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 train station which in most European situations leads out to a fucking McDonald's. So yeah, this train station is incredible. So I'm gonna stay here for 30 minutes, find the next train. I mean, I traveled here for nothing because the conductor put me on the wrong train, but yeah. La Sun Capital Olympic Wood. Absolutely incredible. Could just one of the streets right now. <laughs> but yeah, let's just uh, find myself and uh, head back in the correct direction. I'm gonna head back through this train station because this is taking me off guard. Like how beautiful this place is. The architecture is incredible. <laughs> Bar? Beer? Beer bar? Beer, beer, no. Beer here? Wait, wait. A grand petit la taille. Oh, uh, je suis à Anglais? Small or large? Large. Large, yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Does that go through to the train station? Where? Yeah. From here, yeah. Très bien. Oui, oui. C'est bon, monsieur. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. I just take it. Bonjour. Oh. So yeah, just got to be at the station. Since I've just missed, missed my, uh, well, oh, what the fuck? I get a reconnection. These doors open the wrong way to the UK. Doors. I'm not happy about that. I want a refund. So yeah, I just got a lager from the uh, train station here in uh, wherever I am. That's my mate saying, delish. Oh, so yeah, here we are. Chilling out, 
If I got murdered right, you know, and know where I was. If I got killed right here, no one would know where I was. But um, the least I can do is have a beer before I fucking die. Right? But I mean, a very pretty train station right now. With um, a bar which has got the architecture of what a traditional La France boutique would have. So, yeah. Trams, trams. So yeah, let's enjoy this time. It's a total fuck up, but enjoy the fuck up, like, you know? Could meet new friends. I just spoke to some guy in the train station for about 10 minutes, absolutely lovely fella. Even invited him for a beer, but he has a train to catch. Very handsome Swiss guy as well. Well, actually, he wasn't Swiss, he was French. Switzerland shares the border between Germany, France, and Italy. And um, Liechtenstein as well, which I, ca I can't actually get to in this trip because I don't have enough time. But yeah, what an amazing place. Um, they call it a boiling point, don't they? Like a cauldron, like like New York. So many cultures mixing, like especially with European cultures, right here. You got the languages mixing too. Lots of Germans don't understand people who speak Germany, German, from Switzerland because they speak a dialect that is only born from here. The same as. Um, the same as Austria too, they speak different dialects of German that most people, like uh, quite a few people in Germany, like uh, especially the capital Berlin or even south like Munich, they don't understand the dialect though they speak German, which is amazing and things like that need to be preserved like the Welsh language for myself, the Welsh language needs to be preserved and until you realise the value of that, you're not going to get the hang of it. The same with small Welsh towns too, like Newport, Swansea, Casnewith, Abertawe. You need to get behind the history to preserve what's there. And if you don't know... The So this is where I'm staying for the next three days, four nights actually. This is the Villa de Bousse, Chateau de Bousse, which is just east of Geneva, which uh, goes up the coast of the Geneva and Lake Geneva, which is amazing. This place is incredible. I actually think it's used for weddings. Got a good deal here. It must be like off wedding season but the gardens are incredible and then look at this that's probably the honeymoon suites so I'm gonna head down the country lanes now and we're gonna look for a bus which will take us to a place called Copet and then Copet we will head down to Lake Geneva well further down the lake and get a boat across Lake Geneva. So this place is sick. So yeah, we're on the right track. Check how stunning this building is. 